today we're gonna today we're gonna discuss about um discerning spiritual energies discerning spiritual energies you know we have energy what is an energy an energy you can feel energy now when i say energy what do i mean energies are spirits discerning spiritual energies now in the same way there's uh, energy you, you can feel heat you can feel what these are energies now you can energy the energy which you carry as a person it determines what happens around you so you ought to discern the en energies which you have now why do we call it an energy why do you call it an energy i can give an example for instance uh people were in deliverance ministry let me use for instance ben Hinn. let me use an example like ben Hinn because he's widely known he's widely respected when benny Hinn uh, prays for people and uh, they get healed they usually say that they felt something like electricity in their body they feel like currents of it that thing which you feel like electricity you know electricity is an energy so uh, that's a spiritual energy now today we're going to talk about these energies how to discern them because these energies are responsible for the happenings in your life whether good or bad positive or negative are the results of the energies which are around you watch this video till the end hello guys thank you for tuning in i'm clear for swanyama clear with him and this is christian media where we travel the world to give you local and international christian news commentaries bible based teachings gospel music plus many more and if you want to support us financially use the information on the screen don't forget to subscribe like and share thank you see you again now energies uh, as, as i've just said that uh, uh when pass when you go to church and maybe you worship god you, you, you can feel the anointing you'll feel you'll feel it i know the spirit of god is not all about feelings i know very well that you can have the spirit of god and feel nothing it's very true but in uh in cases where there is intense worship definitely you will feel you will feel an energy you'll feel oh now these are what they call spiritual energies when you feel the anointing that's an energy you feel that's an energy you feel remember jesus was working at the woman with the, with the issue of blood came and touched her jesus said that who touched me why because i feel virtue gone out of me jesus felt an energy getting out of him so spiritual energies there was an energy in jesus where you, where you, if you tapped in, you receive what you have to receive. So Jesus was a carrier of energy. The presence of God is an energy. Is an energy. So that energy affects the surrounding. That's why that's, that's the Bible says that um, whatever the Spirit of God is, there is liberty. That energy brings about liberty. I'm using the word energy um, for me to, you know, if I use it, energy, it makes more sense. Because uh, I know most of us have studied uh, science, so we know what energy is. You know, uh, people that have studied physics, you know what energy is. So that's the thing. That's the thing. So, discerning spiritual energies. Now, this is what happens in the realm of the spirit. If you find the occurrences of your life are a reflection of the energies which are surrounding you. Now, when the enemy wants to attack you, he will send an energy upon you now when you if you're not strong enough in prayer that energy will come and be upon you now that energy will begin either to repel or to attract it can either repel good things and attract bad things is a result of an energy for instance poverty when somebody is poor there is an energy which can be sent to you via wishes and 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 wizard this energy is to make you not to have money now when when this energy comes upon you you find yourself you are always broke money is not coming business is not good you find things are happening just to make money not to come to you if you have a business deal, it goes back. That's an energy which is upon you. That energy, it is causing that situation. That's why you find when 
people are doing witchcraft they know that it's going to produce the result because what they do they don't attack you physically they send a spirit that spirit carries an energy and when that energy comes upon you, it affects your surrounding if it's an energy of dryness you find that your surrounding begins to dry your finances dry you know there are people who carry good energy and they people carry bad energy that's why the bible says that uh, uh, two cannot work together unless they agree association matters when you carry somebody with a bad energy that energy love affects you the bible says that when not worked with abraham lord also was blessed lord was not blessed because he was good lord was blessed due to the association which he had with abraham there was an energy of blessings upon abraham whenever abraham went whatever he touched that energy produced blessings the same applies to Joseph. There was an energy of blessing in the life of Joseph. Wherever Joseph went, that energy went with him. Everything worked. If you things, if you see things are not working around you, check the energy. Discern what energy is this? Is it energy from God? The energies from the devil and the energies from God. These are the energies or spirits which control our life, which dictates the happenings which are around you. Your life is a report card of the energy which you carry inside you. Discerning spiritual energies. So be careful, your spouse, before you marry, what kind of person are you marrying? What kind of energy they carry? There are people, even visitors, whom you allow to visit your home. What kind of energy do they carry? There are people, the moment they visit your house, the bulb will blow, the gas will leak, blender will not will stop working the place will begin to break just they have bad leg let me use that to work that people who have bad leg i'm not saying they're bad people but they have bad energy whenever they go things begin to go bad for them and the people when they're around things just work that's why the bible tells us that potiphar knew god was prospering him because of Joseph, because Joseph has an, had an energy which would make Potiphar prosper. I remember Joseph had, hadn't gone to school. Those days the Israelites didn't have school, but Egypt, so Egypt was a bit advanced. So you would have expected Joseph to be a bit slow because where he came from, they didn't have the kind of civilization which he, he found in Egypt. But Whichever the case, you find Joseph in a situation whereby things are working around him. It was an energy. Even Potiphar was amazed. He put him in charge of his entire household. When that energy was upon him, even when he was taken to prison, even in prison, that energy was upon him. It made the prison wardens love him. There is an energy which can make people love you. There's an energy which gives you vis visibility. There's an energy which gives you favor. There's an energy which brings pulls man into your life and there is an energy which repels people there's an energy which makes people hate you for no reason discerning spiritual energies the bible says in the beginning there was the word and the word was with god and the word is god i would like to emphasize christians to study because it is ignorance which is keeping many christians in bondage the Bible says, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Now, years ago in 2018, God gave me a revelation to write three e-books. The first one is called The Star, The Mystery Behind Extreme Success. We, this book tends to teach about star. This book about the star teaches you about the star so that you can understand what does, what does the Bible say concerning stars. There are a lot of erroneous teachings out there about the star. But this book gives you a biblical sound knowledge about the teaching of the star, the, uh, the secret to extreme success. In this book, you're going to learn how to make your star shine. You're going to learn secrets to unlock your destiny. Get this book. The second book is called, is called Understanding the Mystery of Times and Seasons, where I teach about times and seasons and how to discern the, se the seasons and the timings which you are in. This book is powerful. It's going to unlock a lot of uh, potentials in you and the the last one is called thrones 
Thrones. Thrones is a very powerful book where I teach about altars, gates, and covenants. It's a very powerful book. These three combinations will help you and will equip you to become better Christians. To get this book, you get it when you donate to us an um, amount of 20 US dollars. When you donate 20 US dollars or more, and you send me the email, I'll get you this book. I'll send this ebooks in these three ebooks in your email, and it will bless you, and your life never be the same again. Thank you. Your life is a result of the energy which you carry. Your life is a result of the energy which upon your life. The, the people who are bewitching you, the people who are attacking you, what they're sending to you, they're sending these energies to come upon you. When these energies are up upon you, you begin to see the effects around your life. What's happening around you, your finances, your marriage, your relationship, what's happening, whatever is happening around you is a report card of the energy which has been sent to you, either positive or negative. Discerning spiritual energies. Today I want you to sit down and discern what energy do you carry. And if it's not of God, contend with it in prayer. Contend with it in prayer. What energies do you carry? What energies do you carry? What spirits do you carry? What energies, what spirits do you carry? It's very important. This is why, okay, I know many may not agree, but uh, for me, prophetically, I believe it works because it has worked for me, it has worked for people who have ministered to. Once in a while, always do salt bath. Take salt when you are bathing, put it in, in, in your basin of water, pray for the salt in Jesus' name. Ordinary salt, you can use table salt, you can use the special salt, but make sure you have prayed for it. Put it in uh, bathing water. If you have your anointing oil, the drops of anointing oil, bathe with it to wash away the negative energies which have been sent to you. It washes away the energies. Spiritual baths help you wash away energies. I know the occults do it. I know which doctors do spiritual bath. The fact that they do spiritual bath, it doesn't mean that spiritual bath is wrong. The occults also have their communion. They also have their prayer. They also have their praise and worship. They, everything you find in the kingdom of God, the enemy has tried to copy it. Feet washing is a is a form of a spiritual bath. I've grown up in, in Winners Chapel. Winners Chapel, those who have been in Winners, they know that they should have a feet washing service after the book of John 13. Feet washing service, Jesus after supper, he rose up and started wash, washing the disciples' feet. He wasn't washing them to teach them humility. Jesus had all the wisdom to teach humility. You don't need to wash people's feet to teach them humility. He had so many parables because he did that because you know the hour has come. There are two things which Jesus did before he went. During the last minute, he gave them holy communion and he did them feet washing. Feet washing is a form of spiritual bath. Oh, some people tell you, if you do spiritual bath, demons will enter you. How? In whose name are you doing it? That? Eh? How? It's like, it's like meditation. This medit you can meditate as, as a Christian. As a Christian, you meditate on scripture. The yoga people, they meditate on their own thing. The universe, all those things, chakra, chakra, which they say. Those are the things they meditate on. But for us, we meditate on the scripture. Now, if I tell you to do spiritual bath, I'm not telling you to do spiritual bath like the, the occult. You take your water, take your soul, pray for it in Jesus' name. In fact, you can even recite some of the Psalms. If, if you want the Psalms 51, you can recite it. And then bed with it. This is a prophetic action. It's a pro it really helps. It washes away negative. Do it regularly. It washes away negative energy from you. There are negative energies which follow people, causing them misery, causing accident, causing a lot of bad things. Spiritual bath can help you wash away the the you know the the negative energy. Oh, you will tell will tell me the blood of Jesus is through the blood of Jesus. It works. The blood. Of, listen, the work, the primary work was of the blood of Jesus was to purchase salvation. 
you have salvation it's true you have so the work of the blood was to purchase salvation that was the most because it blood needed to be shed so that there can be forgiveness of sin understand and uh we know very well as christians we don't do we don't have any dealings with any blood the only blood we use is the blood of jesus christ through the holy communion so you can use you can take also the holy communion can help you uh, understand so the fact that we have the blood of jesus it doesn't mean that you cannot do spiritual bath spiritual bath does not wash away your sins the blood of jesus wash away your sins i know you, you can say that or if you live holy you can know this i have no people who are righteous upright integrity but still they have yokes in their lives they are tormented day and night in their lives i'm not saying that it's going to solve everything this but it is part of the process always make sure you do spiritual bath weekly wash away negative energies out of your life negative energies people are sending energies nowadays people some people have bad eyes evil eye people can look at you at an evil eye that's a negative energy wash it away wash it away in jesus name you are using it in jesus name you are not using you are not using any food you are not using any you are not calling ancestors you are not calling any spirit you pray for it in jesus name and you do it that salt is blessed elijah used salt okay so spiritual energies i've to, i've taught you about designing spiritual energies that i've given you a remedy take the holy communion do spiritual bath you can even use an anointing oil it will help you get rid of the spiritual energy it, okay these things i've said is important uh they go together with the prayer when i say th these three i'm not saying that you should do only these things i don't pray you i assume I assume that you are born again. I assume that you are prayerful. So continue praying, continue the fasting which you are doing, or uh, studying of the word and meditation. All those, all, all those things go together with this. I hope you are blessed. And Professor Yama, see you in the next video.